Tesla is well known of making amazing electric cars and one of their most important promises is that one day they will make their car fully autonomously driving. In 2014 they started equipping their cars with so-called autopilot. But it's not the only car maker that helps you driving with some autonomous systems. Today we're gonna talk about my Hyundai Ioniq autonomous systems which are to some extent similar to Tesla Autopilot. So I'm in my 2017 Hyundai Ioniq fully electric. Basically the car has two main systems that are easing your driving, especially on the highways. The first system is called line keep assistance. So what it does, it keeps the car onto its line, but it has its limitations, which I'll talk about in a minute. The second system that the car is equipped with is adaptive cruise control. So basically what it does, you set up the speed that you want to be driving and the car will maintain the speed unless there is an object, a car in front of you driving slower. So it will adapt the speed to the car in front of you. The combination of those two systems make your driving much more comfortable, especially on the highways. I will show you shortly how does it work in the city and on the highway but at the very beginning let's find out how to check if the certain car has those two systems because some of the Hyundais they don't have it in the standard. Adaptive cruise control should be in pretty much each Ionic but in order to confirm an existence of line keep assistant you need to make sure that on the left hand side from the steering wheel this button is existing. As we are already almost fully charged, 93%, but the car on the DC fast charging allows only 94%, we will go to the city and check how it behaves on the city roads. The first very convenient feature of Line Keep Assistant is that once you turn it on, it stays on. Until you deactivate it, it will be always on. This white car icon within the lines that you can see tells that the system is on. However, the first disadvantage of this system is that it works only if the car goes above 60 km per hour. Whenever you're dri driving slower, the system remains off. What it means is that in most of the cases in the city, it's useless. Mostly it's 50 km per hour speed limit and only in places like this, where the speed limit is above 60 km per hour, this system would work. As you can see now, the car icon got green, so it means the car keeps itself within the lines, and I could theoretically take off my hands off the steering wheel. However, if I keep my hands off the steering wheel for too long, it will start giving you sound signals and eventually turn off the system completely. Whenever you reduce speed below 60 km per hour, the green icon would turn white and the line keep assistant would turn off. The line keep assistant is the first out of two systems that I have mentioned before. The other one is adaptive cruise control. I was expecting that this one would be quite helpful in traffic jams. I hope that after setting certain speed, it would auto start and stop the car based on what the car in front of you does. To some extent it works like this, the car maintains the speed and the distance based on what the car in front of you does. However, if the car in front of you fully stops, you need to start it again manually. As you can see on the dash, there is a message that in order to start the car you need to either push the acceleration pedal or the plus sign on the steering wheel. It is quite annoying and makes not much use of adaptive cruise control in the city. So as you could see those systems in the city they are quite useless. The only use case that I can think of is actually using the adaptive cruise control when you are standing in big traffic jam. However, 
you still need to maintain it yourself. You need to check if the car in front of you starts driving and then manually start the car. Later on today, I will be driving on the highway. So then I will show you how it behaves on the highway. So now it is the time to test how it works on the highway or in general, just outside of the city. Because the main criteria is that you have no speed limit below 60 kilometers per hour. So right now we are on the highway. The cruise control is set for 110 kilometers per hour and the line keep assistant is working as you see green icon. And basically now I don't have to steer the car because it drives itself. So even if there is a turn, I can take my hands off and it still stays on the line, it takes the turn. I also don't have to maintain the acceleration pedal or the brake pedal because it keeps the speed. But as you can hear, it still enforces me to keep my hands onto the steering wheel because if I take them off for too long, it starts notifying that your hands should be on the steering wheel. This is a bit annoying because it doesn't actually check if your hands are on the steering wheel or not, but it basically checks if you give the resistance to the steering wheel. So even though I can keep my hands on the steering wheel, and actually at the very beginning when I bought this car it was an issue for me I kept my hands on the steering wheel but it was just a straight road so I, I wouldn't turn or give the resistance to the steering wheel I would just keep my hands on it and after the time it would still notify me that I'm not keeping my hands onto the steering wheel so at the very beginning it was hard to find out what you need to do in order to make the system understand that your hands are are actually on the steering wheel at the very beginning I thought oh I'm not having the strong enough grip so I was just gripping in more but it wouldn't help in fact all you need to do you need to just give a little bit resistance from time to time and then it will treat as if you had your hands on the steering wheel as I mentioned before there are a few settings for the adaptive cruise control those two blue bars are telling me what distance I want the car to maintain. I can set it to one, four, three, two. The more blue bars are there, the more distance the car would keep. When I'm traveling on the highway, I usually keep it on the three bars because then when there is a car in front of me, I would get, and, and it's driving slowly, it would get close enough to the car in front of me so that I can just overtake it. Another useful feature is that if you just pass the line without turning on turn, it will give you also the notification. So I'll just make sure nobody's behind me. And if I slowly get to the line, and right now I just, drove onto the line it gives you the sound that you got onto the line it's very useful when you are driving a long journey and i don't know maybe you're not rested enough then it will straight away notify you and should even wake you up if you fell asleep eventually and it works for both left and right side the line keep assistant is quite reliable. It goes in the center of the lane that you are on and it doesn't have many problems. I haven't noticed any of them. It takes the turns firmly with no hesitation. Also, even if you want to drive yourself, you still feel a little bit resistance. So if you are getting to the line and you, you don't notice it, it will gently move you back to the center but if you give more resistance then it will let you cross the line but again it will give you the sound notification i have to admit that this is a very very convenient feature especially for long runs recently i have done a trip to france so it was 1600 or 700 kilometers one way and i have to admit 
this feature is very very convenient for that you don't feel that tired you don't have to focus that much on driving of course you still need to keep your hands on the steering wheel you still need to be ready to overtake the control of the car but it really gives you so much relax when you are driving and you don't really feel that tired after all but it doesn't work that great always so you also need to take into consideration the weather outside when we were going to france or actually when we were getting back from the france it was really snowing a lot and even worse the snow was wet enough to melt on the bumper and actually it covered the front radar which is used for adaptive cruise control and then unfortunately you get the message that the systems are not available and he, in order to make it run again you just need to get rid of the snow the line keep assistant although even when it was snowing quite much it was working pretty much okay until road got white so it wouldn't know where the line is but it also have another disadvantages that i want to mention here for me they are sometimes quite dangerous so i had a few situations when i was driving the the weather conditions were perfect but for some reason uh, the car lost the lines and when it lost the lines it will not notify you about that so if out of the sudden there is no lane or i don't know actually i'm pretty sure at those times there were lanes all the time and they were uh, good enough but for some reason the car wouldn't recognize them in such situation instead of giving you some notification some sound notification just like if you pass the lane it does nothing the only thing that you can find out is that green icon gets white and i had the situation i was pretty confident that the car keeps me in the line i was not paying that much attention just to to, to stay on the line and out of the sudden i got from the right lane to the left leg and that's when I realized you really need to pay extra attention for that as well. I don't know why it works like this, but in my opinion, it should give you a hint that it lost its school lines and that it would be all fine. The other disadvantage, basically comparing to Tesla or to Pilot, is that if you fall asleep or if you just keep your hands away from the steering wheel, it will give you the sound notification, but it will keep giving you the sound notification for some time. But once it see you don't get your hands back on the steering wheel, it will also turn off the line keep assistance. So it's very bad because imagine you fell asleep or you had something, I don't know, maybe you lost your conscious, then the car will just go straight, will not keep you in the light. And in Tesla, you would just that the car would first of all give you some signals that you're not keeping your hands on the steering wheel and then after that it, it will turn on emergency brake and it would stop the car so it, in case of any disease or any unexpected things it could save your life and here you would just get onto as, as long as it straight you you will go straight but then it wouldn't turn so it's quite dangerous. Apart from those two issues that the light keep assistant has, there is not much I can complain about. Really on the long journeys or even the shorter ones like I'm doing right now, I'm doing 132 meters and it's all on the highway. It makes driving much, much more convenient and you can just relax much more driving and have more fun. If you enjoyed the video, just make sure to leave the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because there is going to be more materials about this Hyundai Ioniq, but also about another electric cars quite soon. So thanks for watching and see you next time.